yeah yeah you you have you all my people you have no idea how much i'd love to sit here and praise the springboks for that effort it, it was an amazing game by the springboks beating england by 16 points to 15 um, the proteas did well against england as well and an interesting weekend overall unfortunately chelsea who are to some extent <laughs> to the fullest extent the primary subject of this youtube channel chelsea were leading against arsenal at stamford bridge in the 75th minute by two goals to nil and by the 84th minute it was 2-2 so in a space of eight minutes i personally fluctuated from being the guy that was expecting a statement win after such an amazing performance for 75 minutes against last season's runners up to in the 84th minute being the guy that realizes where Chelsea are and hoping that we can at least get a point out of this game. As soon as Robert Sanchez makes that mistake and Declan Rice converts it, good shot, I just already start to feel that Arsenal will score another one. But why my heart was racing is will Arsenal score two more and are we going to go from expecting a win here as Chelsea fans and a sign, a huge sign of progress to being <laughs> just, just blown away and just, just depressed and just reminded that, yeah, you're, you're just not there. The boys played so well. What a tactical masterclass by Pochettino in the first half, especially. Perfect play. Taking Kukrela back to the left back role where he naturally played and him holding up Saka for the longest time in the game. That was awesome. Seeing Malo Gusto back in the team after suspension, trusting him with the right back role against Martinelli. And he played so well. The back line solid throughout the game, throughout the whole game. Levi Colwell, I think this was one of his biggest games. So maybe a bit shaky in the beginning, but not shaky to the point where his mistake was anywhere near the mistake that Robert Sanchez made, for example. He was clearing the ball when he needed to clear, trying to make forward passes. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just... Yeah, I'm trying to, to, to be positive about the fact that at the beginning of the game, before kickoff, if you told a Chelsea fan, you get a draw out of this game, a Chelsea fan would have been pleased, actually happy to take a draw against Arsenal because we know where Arsenal are under Ateta. I mean, realistically speaking, we we are in a rebuild. We, we, we don't know each other. The players have been to, together for less than four months. These players don't know each other. So against a team that has players who've known each other for over four years, five years perhaps, except maybe Declan Rice. Who are we to say that we have the chemistry? But when you're leading 2-0 and you've outplayed the opposition, you just have to see it through. You just have to get the job done. You have no other choice. Pochettino question marks because i think he let us down i think taking Cole Palmer off taking raheem sterling off there's no reason for that there's really no reason for that because our next game is against brentford that's in a week's time no cup fixtures no european football midweek there'll be time to recover so why take off the attacking threats the men the men that were actually opening up the defense by making those runs those diagonal runs Cole Palmer was immense for us so yeah, the first box definitely goes to Robert Sanchez for reasons that have already been told. I mean, you don't have to even love football to see that Robert Sanchez made a mistake. And it wasn't the first time Robert Sanchez makes this mistake. For those that did watch the Carabao Cup fixture against Brighton, he passed the ball to Joao Pedro. Joao Pedro 
just made a bad decision by trying to dink it over Sanchez and he looped it over the, the bar. Otherwise, João Pedro on the day just by himself could have knocked us out of the cup. He just wasn't clinical on that day. So, Robert Sanchez, second time that you make this mistake of passing the ball directly into midfield against teams that are pressing us. Pressing us in midfield, pressing us on the wings. Yeah, I know. Um, second box, and only because it's either it's a red box or a blue box. Poch gets a red box. There's no orange, unfortunately. But mainly because of the substitutions. It was a tactical masterclass. So that side of the game, Poch did everything well. He did everything right. Not deploying a striker so that we can have more numbers in midfield was an amazing decision. None of us could have predicted that. Especially Ateta could not have predicted that because then Gabriel Jesus had to come into midfield just to get a piece of the game, just to touch the ball and try and build something up, but it's not part of his natural game. So, yeah, big shout out to Poch for that. But why would you take off the attackers that could have gone on to maybe make it 3-0? Cole Palmer did have a good chance through a David Raya mistake. But yes, we and the rest was history. And here we are sitting with a point after the game. Third box to deviate to a more positive perspective. Mikhailo Mudrik. Mikhailo Mudrik scores against the team that he was publicly saying I would like to join over the summer. And um, Fabrizio Romano would remind us that he is just pushing, pushing for this Arsenal deal. And he ended up coming to Chelsea, I think, for financial reasons. Um through his agents, actually, not him as a player. So, yeah, initially we could all see glimpses of his unhappy body language. Yeah, but uh, Mikhail Mudrik scored a wonder goal. Haters will say it was an attempted cross to Sterling at the far post. Mm. David Raya, very far from his from guarding his his goal. So, um, yeah, it was it was a good finish. I mean, it would have been much better if it was a winning goal. Yeah, but it, uh, <laughs> yeah, we, 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 we did ourselves, I don't know, Robert, San- Robert Sanchez did us? I don't know. Final box, just to cap off, Cole Palmer, well-deserved. He's proving to us that he's the real deal. He's genuinely the real deal. He's a player that I believe we, we needed when we signed Kai Havertz. We needed this player. We needed Cole Palmer's class. Um would have been interesting to see Cole Palmer play alongside Mason Mount. But yeah, we've moved on. We've moved on. I'm not I'm not reminiscing. No. Uh yeah. Uh and we move. I mean good game overall, yes. Good game. Uh a game where there's signs. Um your team is showing you that there's progress and you can have faith in in Poch's regime. So I mean we move. Let's get it, y'all.